So I thought I'd talk to you all about my little uh, 120th scale barrel traction engine, um, and in particular about the little engine itself. So this is the little engine that I've made to date. There's a um, there's a little bit of work. There's quite a bit of work to do. A little bit of work. There's quite a lot of work to do on this yet, but um, I've got the saddle made out of phosphor bronze that I've machined from a solid piece of phosphor bronze, a square piece, uh, and the valve chest there fitted to it. This fits onto the boiler. And as you see, there are two fittings on the bottom that mean that I can bolt it to the boiler and then I'm going to braze that in place onto the boiler. Um, I will run the engine, make sure it all works before I braze that on, but then that saddle will get brazed onto the boiler itself. And that will be then a part that's permanently fitted on there. And that gives me a great sealing face and a, and a, and a pathway then through for the steam. And the steam will come through this hole here up to a safety valve that will fit on the top. And then a throttle valve that will sit on the side here so that I can operate it from the cabin like you would a proper traction engine. So um, the cylinder, as I said, fits on there. I've done the crosshead uh, in guide in, car in cast iron and the actual slider, crosshead slider itself in phosphor bronze there. Um, piston is in phosphor bronze. I've got to put two little piston rings in there. They're going to make them another day and I'll take you through them. So. What I'm thinking is whether I make a valve that as part of this phosphor bronze part, and this is all getting very complicated now, and it is worrying me every day as to whether I'm working on it, whether I'm going to mess it up or break a tap in it and then start again. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a worry. But um, what I'm thinking is whether I could fit a standard valve into that side. So if I fitted a standard valve in there, uh, maybe this one modified a little bit, but um, that could screw into there. And then I could have a pipe that comes off, off this hole here that goes into this valve chest, into the side of this valve chest. So that would be a nice, simple way of doing it. And then I could operate this valve from the cabin with an extension to the actual valve handle. So if I take this off, um, just take the locking nut off that, and then take the handle off, I could then quite easily make an extension to this that operates from the actual cabin itself so that would fit on there um, I would have an extension that comes back and allows me to operate it from here that's that's quite an interesting way the other way of course is to run a tiny pipe from here back along the top of the boiler to the valve in the cockpit area in the you know where you stand in the on the traction engine and then back up to the actual valve chest and just lag those those uh, parts um lag them or just lag them and and maybe even double wrap them in uh in tubing to make sure that they're insulated so i don't get any uh too many losses down there that'd be that'd be the other way um and they could be very neatly just clipped onto the top or you know fitted onto the top of the boiler there so i just thought i'd take you through that that's what i'm thinking at the moment that's what's going through me head at the moment what's uh what's concerning me what's worrying me in terms of this build hopefully uh you're enjoying it do subscribe to my channel and follow me um then you'll see more updates on this little engine as i as i go through the design process and actually the machining the parts as i go Hopefully now to very soon, I'm going to start getting this to a point where I can run it at least on compressed air and check out how well it runs. So give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Cheers, guys. Bye.